Welcome to Jar Golf Vlogs. Coming up in this video, me and Badass go to Christchurch Golf Club for the first time and play 18 holes. What can I shoot? Stay tuned to find out. Welcome to another Jaguar Golf video. Hello, today we're at Paul's Church Golf Club. Uh, I've never played it before, but uh, first impressions, it looks absolutely lovely. Green's a lot of carpet. I've uh, just walked up a second at the moment. It's a bit windy, so I'm not sure how much I'm going to record today. But I want to get a few shots in, because of course it looks really good nick. Uh, part of part five first. That was a nice little start, but we've got quite a long way in for the second one. It's a bit windy up here, as you can hear. But, uh, I try and record what I can. Hopefully it's a good day. Right, on the third hole, um, about a pretty nice par four. Quite a tough start, actually. Here you go, one par par start. Yeah, it's pretty green. Oh, thanks for that help. That like sat up there for a minute. Yeah, I know, it's good bounce. I think I'm going to play, but I've got a long way back. Got well, a bit of a scabby tee shot there. I'm hoping I've got lucky. I'll see it bounce down. I can't see how far the bushes are overhanging the tree. What sort of uh, stance or anything I'll have. Might even be a ditch down there, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's a horrible, uh, horrible tee shot that. Sort of spun out of it a bit and uh, pushed it miles out right. I knew the bow out there was right, but not that far right. But um, hopefully I can get a good second one down there. And uh, play the first hole on camera as well as I've played the first two. Didn't, didn't see it down. Right, so I got a bit, uh, a bit lucky with my tee shot there. Um, didn't really make the most of it because uh, we don't want a bad connection. It's just uh, balloon miles out right. I've been doing that lately. Get a bit slicey of all my clubs, it's uh, not good. Like, this is a tough old hole, this. Uh, not sure if it's just windy up here all the time. I get the impression it is. It's quite open. But a um, really lovely course from what I've seen of it so far. It's in really good condition. Well, I've got about 103 to the middle here. Played that exactly how I wanted to then. Lovely shot. You know, there it is there. Just a little bit longer the pin. Uh, brings a par back into play. Right, par par. What I've started noticing is that I've been really bad at par threes lately, especially off the tee. They're really strange. I think getting down the range and hit a few irons off the tee, I think. Well, I'll make my way off the fourth, as I was saying. Uh, really struggling on par threes at the moment, hitting off, hitting off the tee. Got a generous uh, target down there as well. It wasn't as if it's a tight one. But um, hopefully I can get up and down, get back on the par train. A bit longer than what I wanted though. Well, not too bad a fall there. Got a bit aggressive my first chip and uh, left me a bit of a long par part, but not the worst par part. But, um, I've noticed the greens are really nice up here, rolling really, really true. Not overly fast, but uh, downhill ones you definitely can't be aggressive with, that's for sure. Well, I'm going to put the camera away for a couple of holes now. 
get it back out and uh, we get a bit of room behind us. Right, oh, it said I was going to put the camera away, but this is our toughest hole, of course, this one. Right next to the road. So I don't want to go left there. Yeah, needed on the tough side of the course as well. About 400 yards long, as you see, you walk around the corner here. We've got quite a busy main road over there. Probably a range of bad ass as well. I'm not going to lie, it's probably one of the best trials I've been in about three or four weeks at. It's actually quite straight, not slicey. Actually got down at a good distance, which is uh, quite needed on this old it's uh, good for the yards and things depending on the wind as well today so tough soul of the course. Hopefully we've got a good approach on that so we can get a par on it, maybe even a birdie. Right, so we're in my really nice tee shot under that. I've got about 197 to the middle. Uh, I'm gonna go four over. but I don't know if it's gonna kind of get there but I don't probably want to be long so I'm gonna go two over. Line. I think it made it on there. I think that's a great shot. Have a little zoom in. I do apologise for my zooming in. There you can see it there. Look, don't know if it's just on the front edge or whether it's uh, just off, but lovely shot. Right, good look at Bernie. This on the toughest hole on the course. Lovely four hour with that. Lovely little part out on the other side of the course. Did pull my putt slightly, but pace went bad. Well, I'm going to put the camera away now, trying to uh, keep this good start going, get it out in a few hours' time. Right, we're on the sixth hole, got a birdie putt coming up here. I'm two over through six at the moment, playing some nice stuff. Just gonna put the camera away again. It's on the night here. It's got a nice looking out, really. I'll finish. Down there. Yeah, so yet again, not a, not a great shot with an iron off the tee. Don't know what it is at the moment. I need to get it out of my system because it's uh, not doing me scoring perhaps as any good. Still playing fairly steady. Had a bogey on the last. I think I did have a double before that, but all the rest have been pars and bogey, so I. Uh, Fairly steady at the moment, and say just on the ninth now. Um, beautiful course, though, really good nick as well. I think he played 19 pounds player today, so uh, bargain. Pop up. Bad little bogey there, sort of left myself uh, short side as made myself made sure I'd give myself a par part there. Right, onto the back nine. Right, just on the tenth. Got to get up and down for par here. Yeah, okay, not too bad. Come out a little bit left, but not the end of the world. Right, little par part.
slow. And I've had bogey that. Um, well, it's quite a good putt as well, my par putt to start. Didn't start out far enough. Right, onto the 11th. 11th here. Uh, I've got a really short par three, about 95 yards or something. So Yeah, I pushed it a bit. Not a bad shot, it's right distance as well, I think. Just pushed it a little bit. And that wind coming off the left. I feel like I've just come up short of the ditch down there. Another up and down for par. Right, I've just come up short of that ditch down there. We've got to try and get up and down. It's tough, I think. Right, making our way out for the 11th, little bogey for me, it's a bit of a tough hold out, I must admit, a little wedge that out, quite windy, sort of in your face a little bit and off the left, pushing it out right, and all the green slopes away from you into that ditch, I was lucky I stayed short of it, and uh, rushing me bogey at least. Right, on to the 12th now, um, I think it's a par 4, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, round to the 12th, uh, it's actually par 4. Not good, but I managed to keep it in play. Par five. Try and get a nice one down there. See if we can get make it birdie. Right, well, John made it. We've got about 288 to the middle. Um, right back into the wind as well. So I'm um, going to Ibridge one. Side of that bunker, don't know if I got down there, but it's a good shot. Oh, it's actually tough. Now it's on the back edge, I think. Bad shot, just uh. A bit further than what I thought. Oh, that's good. 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 Not sure what uh, what hole it is, ain't looked on a scorecard yet, but uh, playing quite steady at the moment. Had a few parts to start off with and uh, one double, uh, just on the bogey train at the moment, which is a bit, um, a bit annoying. I'm going to try and get another part, get a bit of momentum going again, but um, not too bad. Keep my ball in play, that's the main thing to do around here. Um, well, on to the 13th next. Well, the 13th hole coming up. Nah, I, was, I don't think I'd reach it from here to be honest, but lovely strike, just unfortunately went straight in that right hand side bunker there. Tricky shot now. Well, not a bad tee shot for me there, but it's, unfortunately it's the wrong club. Um, should have just gone like a little far right and down there or something, leave me a little wedge on. Didn't think that bunker would be in play. I thought it was more closer to the green. But, um, unfortunately I'm going to have a little uh, fiddly bunker shot here, probably about... 60 70 yards, something like that, I reckon. But, uh, good tricky shot. This, well, I've got about 90 yards. Can 
I just really do that. Wow, that was a great shot. Come on. Started to play a little bit of golf today. Don't know what's going on. I put that close from a bunker. Don't know how I manage that. Can't do it from a greenside bunker, but fairway bunker. Lovely little birdie putt coming up. All right, after my lovely approach shot out the bunker, I've got a little birdie putt here. Come on. Bunk shot deserved a birdie, but I'll uh, take a tapping pole day long. Gets off the bogey train. Full wing for another little short par three. That one's tenth in the middle. Got a little pitch wedge. Hold on. Nice strike again. Star. Leaking, leaking me little wedges out right slightly. The wind's always off that way as well, which never helps it, but never up and down for par. Well, it's not my worst tee shot on camera from the par three, but um, looks like it could be a little uh, tricky up and down this. I've got loads of green to work with. Um, badass hit a lovely one on there, didn't you, badass? Bad time, innit? Yeah, nice little birdie putt coming up. I've got to catch out the camera for you. But right, first things first, see if I can get up and down. Unfortunately. Yeah, get in there. Love the birdie. Come on. Oh, lovely birdie from Bad Ash. He ain't had his best golf today, I must admit. But, uh, birdie always puts a smile back on your face, doesn't it? So, little bogey for me there, not too bad. Um, got a little two point I'm playing off 18, so I get shot on every old one today, so it's not too bad. Um, coming up to the 15th now, I believe it's. Par 4 and par 5 by the looks of it. I've got a seat from here, but I'm uh, back into the wind. It's like a little dog leg to the right. Uh, oh no, it's par 5, 513 yards. See the, uh, just see the board. Right, on, this right, on the 15th hole, par 5, about 500 yards or so, back into the wind. Um, looks like there's a little bit of room out right. Hopefully, I ain't got to use too much of it. Yeah, I think that'd be fine. Just landed uh, in Loma de uh, tree in the middle of the fairway, but um, just bounced to the right, so I should have an angle down there to hit me second shot down there. Um, not bad job. Kept it a little bit lower out the wind then as well. Bit of a funny old oldest. You've got them two trees, sort of, the flag right in the middle of it. I'm going to try and play just a little bit shorter then, but right in the middle of it, and then leave myself a nice little sh shot in. Half hour, as I say, so I'm just going to go a little low six iron and chase it down there. I played that sort of how I wanted, but I think the wind's a little bit off the left. It was pushing it towards that right hand tree down there, but uh, I think I should have a shot in. Right, got about 150 ish to the middle. Gonna go six hours, so there's a bit of wind up there. Oh, a bit disappointing there. Um, hit the shot I wanted to, but uh, no, we're near the right club on my hand, unfortunately. I didn't give it enough. It did only take a sort of smooth six. I thought it was going to chase up there quite a bit, but uh, I didn't chase up there as much as what I thought. Probably could have gone uh, a little bit more as well, to be honest, but so we can get up and down for a par. Right, up and down for a par. Got a little pitching wedge. I'm landing short, so I've run it up there. Not too bad. I'm at a little bit left, but got a par putt. Right, it's my par putt here. It's the furthest ball away from you. 
Badass played a nice little chip for the back of the green now. Another little bogey, not too bad. Putt went bad, good pace just start. Lost it a little bit to the right, unfortunately. Right, we're on the 16th here. Dog legs round to the right. Uh, I've got about 350 yards. Um, I'm going to go draw him and try and uh, sit around the corner a bit. I think so. It's got a white stake. Right, I've got quite a good score going there, and I've sort of missed those a little bit. I've got to go over these trees and see them just through that tree. I've got the. Most unlucky strike ever there. Got it over the first lot of trees, but I think that's a great unfortunately. And then we've got an excellent tree now. What a badass is walking. Well, I've got a little one handed shot here. I don't know what it's going to come out like. I really got a choice. I wish I was left handed. Short, but lucky enough, it pitched into the upslope and uh, took a lot of pace off it. Bad, that's on the one away. Got this for a bogey, it's been a great bogey. Hold it down. Hold it down. Hold it down. Hold it down. Only the second double of the day, that. A bit disappointing. This point in double bogey there, I must admit, our uh, tee shot was a blame. I wasn't really aiming where I should have been. I thought the fairway was a different bit. But um, well, on to the 17th and 18th now, final two holes. Still playing quite steady, see if I can keep it going. Right, 17th tee shot. Not sure if it should be a dry roll for me. I was thinking it down too over it, but um, I'm going to go dry roll. Nice tee shot in the eye for me, that one. Could, could be water ball. Yeah, a bit of a stupid decision for me there. It should have gone too high, but I think I think it's a little bit downwind. And uh, my slice was always going to go over towards the water. Didn't really have loads of water to make that so, Yeah, a bit of a stupid decision. It's not very long. Too high would have been enough. Left me about an eight hour and I'm not spec. But um, hopefully, strange things out there. I might find myself down there if not. Take a little drop. And, uh, Try and get up and down for bogey from there. Right, unfortunately I found my ball in the ditch down there, so I've took a drop. So I'm playing my third. Got about 140 to the middle. Gonna go eight hard. Oh mate, really? First real bad shot of it today to be honest, I must admit. That was shocking, but it's just like short of the green. Up and down for a double, got to try and stop. I ain't blobbed the hole today yet. Got to try and uh, keep that going, but got my work cut out. Right, I'm um, actually doing my maths wrong. I've got to go up and down for a bogey. That's not, that don't sound too bad. It's not the hardest one either. I've got a bit of room. Yeah, not a bad shot at all, that. Still leaves me quite a long bogey putt, but I'll take it from the uh, trouble I've been in. Oh, I've probably been scabby this all the day there, just trying to save a, save a bogey here. Well, 18th and final while we're 
Um, we've got next round to the left. Um, it's only about three thirty, so we go too old, really. I make the same mistakes what I did on the last one. Yeah, it's here to do. I've got a long second shot in, I think, but not too bad. Oh, I've got about 150. The pin is literally right over the top of that little bush there. So, uh, just got to go over the top of that. Trust the yardage. I'm on the green. Should be safe though. Might just be our uh, left side of the green, maybe. Have a look when we get up there. Right, just left side of the green. Let's take a little up and down for a time. That's about it for today's video. Here's a little look at my scorecard. As you can see, I finished at 15 over par with 39 points, not too bad around. It's the first time I played Cross Church Golf Club, and I must admit, it's a really nice course, really good condition, greens are lovely. You've got a really nice range there with top tracer as well. So you've got some good practice facilities there. Really nice course. I'm sure we only played 18 pounds for the round as well, which is a right bargain. Definitely recommend going down and play there. Coming up next on JR Golf Logs. Me and a few of the boys go to St Melian Golf Resort and play one of the hardest okay. golf courses in England, the Nicholas Course. Although it is one of the hardest golf courses I've played, it's definitely one of the best courses I've played as well. What a lovely course. What can I shoot? Check out the next video to find out. next video. Peace out.